Yeah, morning, man. Good morning, my brother. Morning, Mr. Collins. Morning, my brother. How so, are you? We welcome you again to Top View News. Yeah, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. The only station that give you the view. I promote your view to the citizen of Nigeria. Yeah, that's what we want. We want the saturated, uh, circulated, uh, uh, you know, media that can give us the truth story of what is on ground in Nigeria. All right, sir. Uh, so once again, welcome this morning. Uh, yeah, I appreciate. It. Thank we you. know you've heard the federal government wants to seek a fresh loan of uh, over 150 million dollars to 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 share among over 50 million households in Nigeria. Mm. We've, had a, we've had a lot of um, palliative which um, who doesn't even know how it was shared. Now the question is, should they proceed on this also or just use the money to to rebuild our refinery? Yeah, they want to, 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 to rebrand our electricity. Uh, yeah, yeah, what the basic see, amenities needed by this um, yeah, yeah. over 15 also, it's mm. instead of giving them uh, 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 thirty cash, I uh, uh, mean, I mean, you know, the tools, the tools, infrastructural, uh, uh, what's it called? The refinery you talk about is necessary, right, for the country to fix. Likewise, the hunger in the land is more important for the, uh, you know, compared to the refinery now. Because if you fix the refinery, is it dead body? When people are dead bad, you start doing the refinery. Oh, oh, so when, when, the dead, when we are when talking about... When people are stopping dead, dead, is that what you think? Is that when you think you can enjoy the refinery? People are hungry in the land. So they must be able to quench the hunger in the land. They say an hungry man is an angry man. So to me, the government should do the next move about that palliative and that palliative should be directed to the right channel should be directed to the right channel so that there won't be all, all this hijacker that hijack the palliative along the line so the president should make sure if he's releasing any palliative this time around let it get to the roots don't give it to middlemen right don't get you have the civil society organization you can be in charge of that because those people they have names they have credible name already. They will want to stay their name. So by giving the politics to the elect uh, politician to share, I think it will reach nowhere. And that is the problem, the first issues they have. So they have to correct their mistakes from you know, the, the first mistake, from the second uh, journey they want to embark on. So to me, the politics is okay because the subsidy, there is a, uh, one thing you have to use to cushion the effect of the subsidy. The subsidy hardship is the one really affecting Nigeria seriously now. So, and uh, to that now, if you can give them some token, give Nigeria some token that is more, I mean, reasonable for them to survive, you know, I mean, I see nothing wrong in it. It's a good uh, policy, and uh, the policy is now the implementation we'll be, we'll be looking at. If you give it a, to the wrong people, there will be wrong implementation. If you give it to the right people, there will be right implementation. So the government, uh, the president should not just sit in Nassau and there and be pushing out palliative to people that don't need it. People that will collect the palliative and turn into political palliatives. We don't need that. All right. Uh, so the labor has expressed his um, disappointment over 160 million naira car gifted uh, to lawmakers. The, the labor uh, uh, they, they expresses their disappointment that a 160 million car has been shared among the lawmakers. Even in this um, hardship where the citizens only oh, see to see a, a, a daily meal is now a, a, a work to them, uh, a work with them. The, the labor, but they are spending uh, over 160 uh, million. The labor, the labor, they are directing their businesses to the wrong side. Those House of uh, Rep, you are saying, those National Assembly members, you are saying, it's, uh, they are working towards the Constitution. They are working with the Constitution. If we want to fix the whole things up, if our Constitution we have to go back to. I think what Labour should be, you know, 
and pray for now is give us a new constitution or let us revive i mean just the constitution we have and amend it so before there can be rest in this country because those senators will say as the governors has access to cars as government has access to I mean, country home, as government has access to their government house same thing the way is the same way the senators have access to buy a new car every year to come and it's under it's inside our constitution that we have to work on once we work on that constitution well i mean the only more will be over for all these senators so also we can even embark on by camera by camera legislator it will help us a lot but this one we are doing now is jamboree jamboree legislative we are having you know we are all, but mind you all of them that are collecting that card now you know you have different parties among them some are opposition where are the voices of opposition to challenge that, that they don't want the car so that they will, will know they are coming straight. So that's to know that all politicians are just saying they will just come under a different umbrella and that you know to showcase themselves to win elections. But once they win election, they get to Halo Chamber, they get to what's it called that's so rock. So they march together, they become one against the masses. So, which that's not what we want. So, on getting these cars, why do you think they have not been patronizing the Nigerian makers? At least, if, 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 if this money is also being utilized within the country, it will also increase um, the, the, the productivity. Yeah. I, get, I get you loud and clear. It's still the same part of what we're saying. The constitution that make it for them not to patronize the local assembly cars it still has to come under the constitution. Because when there's constitution and you go against the constitution, the law will catch up with you. But the, our constitution is not working. We don't have a working constitution. That's why they can have access, that they can be buying 150 million cars. But if there's constitution, and it's, it's, it's they insert it in the constitution, that every incoming, every incoming president, every incoming as of that member, every incoming senator will have a limited amount of money to acquire cars. Or the government will provide those cars for them from the local manufacturing uh you know car cars uh manufacturers car in nigeria we have them enough we have them we have uh, uh, uh what's it called uh, we have uh now issue two we have industry and we have uh what's it called this man in uh Ubu state uh profos we have profos if it's bulletproof you need profos can build it for them if it is uh Ordinary car, executive car you need, you must see can build it for assembly for you. If it's an executive car you need, and they should can assemble it for you. So it, but they need the law to enforce them to do that. Right? When there's, when there's no law, there's no crime. So I don't see any crime those people have committed. But the human feeling that they don't have is the crime alone, I would say in it. Because it's the constitution that is not working that makes them to be going on jamborees of cars. All right, so thank you, Barrett. So why do you think, um, lastly, why do you think the president is yet to give any say on the Senate uh, president? As we all know, um, the Nadeko has urged the Senate president to resign now or to be impeached. Uh, yeah, what we need to do is, you know, the, the Senate, uh, they are different, but you know, we have three tiers of government. We have the executive, we have the judiciary, and we have the legislators, right? So the appearance of budget of Senate, they always make it different. Budget of the judiciary goes to the judiciary. Budget of the what's it called the the uh, executive go to the executive. That is when we are doing the allocation. Uh, every year allocation, every month allocation. There's the money they assign to the Senate. There's a money to assign for. So all those things are still boiling. It's still boiling down to a weak constitution we are having. The weak constitution is what makes every one of them to be going jamboree of the uh, uh, 160 million car. That 160 million naira car, if we have seen any one of them that rejected, either from labor, either from uh, what's it called? Uh, uh, what's it called? The uh, PDP. 
I think they are the opposition. They are the ones that are supposed to be fighting for the masses. Now. If they want to complain, they should complain. But none of them has complained. All of them are saying. They are saying that they are saying that. So I think Nigerians ought to have known now that we don't have senators, we don't have judiciary, uh, we don't have uh, what's it called rep, and we don't have right elected governors too. So, to, if, they, if they, all of them are up right, all these things will not be happening. All right, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your time, sir. So, you have always, um, you, have, you said um, the, the, they should reform the constitution yeah, yeah. just to get it right. Yeah, right yeah. So, thank you for that. Thank you for your time, sir. Yeah, it's so, uh, Mr. Charles, uh, welcome today. Thank you very much. Very and um, um, I heard uh, your health is somehow. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not sure. So you should be jubilating now as the president is going to share a palliative to, a palliative to over 15 households. And I'm sure this time around it will get to you. So you should just be rest assured and start jubilating in your household. We should be ashamed of ourselves not jubilating, Mr. My dear journalist. We are Nigerians, and the Nigerians are very sensitive and very intelligent. God has been God with what I'm calling intellectual capacity and to understand when someone is coming with a deceptive measure. Tinubu is here to deceive Nigerians. I have said it with that number. On countless occasions, Tinubu should be very, very much careful on what he does. We are talking about the president of Nigeria, one of the most popular black Africans in, in, in Africa. And then you are going to see me yourself with Paletti. Paletti, Paletti. You are not even here to go and hold You are not even doing anything. What happened to the previous Paletti that was put on ground? Nothing. We didn't see anything. You and I know fully well that this Paletti that was put on the top of the era that was meant to share for the poor masses. The share is within themselves. So these people should stop lying to themselves that they are sharing Paletti. The Paletti they are sharing is just within themselves. I was trying, somebody was asking me yesterday, and I said the best thing they would have done, they do, wouldn't be share a circle of palliative, just very simple. Bring down this palliative issue with his money. Turning into this, subsidize fuel, subsidize our economy. We have education, why not subsidize our economy? So that our children will be able to go to school. So that our people, our, you know, the, the people who are going to buy fuel on a subsidized rate. Look at dollar. Dollar is on high increase every day. So I believe these are ready to be the money I am busy spending on palliative that is not going to get to anybody here. The same story we had in the first place is the same story we're going to have in the second place. So the, what they have done is that use that money to subsidize most of these people that use of these things that you know that is on a high increase. But they are not doing it because they know by virtue of saying palliative. That is the only means in which they get benefit and gain much money to their own private account. So I'm not happy. I'm disappointed with this government, seriously. So um, the president has a... The president has uh, launched how the 50 million will be distributed. So we believe and hope, let us be hopeful that this will go around. Okay, um, heading away from that, um, the Labour has um, expressed their displeasure as um, the federal government has purchased over 160 million vehicles to the lawmakers, even when the citizens are getting it hard to, to, to have a, a, a one square of meal in a day. Yes, uh, our yes. lawmakers are getting much money on a daily basis. This is exactly what I'm saying. Well, now, let me, let me come like this. Labour is one of the most important independent body we have in this country. But I'm highly disappointed with Labour because Nigerian Labour Congress have disappointed itself. Because they have known fully well that most things that these people are doing is not favoring them. It's not, they are not dancing to their children. Now, we are coming to tell us that whatever the government are doing is not favoring the citizen. Because you know that it's not favoring you. Because you know that they are not dancing to your tune. Yes, I know whatever the federal, whatever the government is doing, favoring the so-called senators, favoring the so-called members of the House of Reps, 
It is not in order. The ordinary Nigerian workers are asking for 25,000 naira per month. And you are busy disposing millions of millions of songs to most of these uh, senators. It is not fair. But what I'm saying, if Nigerian Labour Congress will not feel that they are fighting a just court, they should go ahead. You are actually in support of whatever they are doing. But let it not be that whatever they are fighting is just within the cycle of what they want to achieve as a Nigerian Labour Congress within themselves. But I am not happy, even me, I myself, that is, I am not part of the Nigerian Labour Congress, I am not even happy with what is going on with the Nigerian Labour Congress because how much are they demanding and how much is being paid? To most of these uh, senators, 130 million naira for them to buy an SUV car. car. Then, how much is an, an Nigerian labor man demanding for a work he has done that they cannot even be satisfied in terms of what the kind of money they are being paid you? So, I am not happy with what is going on. Even me, myself, the federal government have disappointed Nigeria, not only the Nigerian labor government, but the entire country as a whole. So this has prompted um, labor, part, uh, labor to say that uh, their next strike, there won't be any. They will not be giving uh, the federal government uh, any notice before going to their next um, strike. As you know, Nigeria has the lowest. The lowest minimum wage in the world. That is the problem we are having. Then so, ask for, for every economy, for every country, um, food should be the lowest commodity but, in the nation. But what are you saying? Why is it? Why why are we getting it wrong? I think you should, you should go and ask your president because. I, I believe you can speak very much the kind of tribe, you can speak to him in a manner, and you can hear English very well, he's a Yoruba man like you, speak to him the language that he will understand very well. Tulubu, I said, I don't have any issue with Mr. Bola Tulubu, because you are not doing anything wrong to me. But what I'm saying that you have done wrong to so almost you and I is the kind of bad policy is being, is, is being in place here to malfunction his government. If I were him, the kind of individual that this young man is bringing into his government are the people that are going to destroy his government. Bola Tulubu, you ask yourself this question Is that the purpose? Is that the need? Is that why people elected me to that particular post? Go and ask yourself question. Posterity will remember you for good or whatever you do, whether good or bad. Whether posterity wants to remember you for good or for bad, depending on what you do. Why will you be suffering the whole masses? Why will you, why will you be enslaving the whole nation? Why people are there supporting and dying of hunger? Look at Nigeria cannot even go of three square meals a day. A country that is well in God with riches and upon riches of humanity, but we cannot boast of anything rich, money, eat, food. Nigerians are not even asking for anything, they are even asking to eat and be satisfied within themselves. But look at what is what they are seeing. A country whereby you are only imposing yourself with a high rate of discrimination and a discrepancy within the, you know, the, your government. Look at the appointment he has been given. Very discriminating measures have been taken down from his appointment. So I am not happy with this government. Tribu, I say you have not done anything wrong because you say that. I don't have any business with you. Me and you have nothing in common. It's the only thing you are, you are the president of Nigeria of which you are not even doing well. So that is the reason why we should go back and ask ourselves this question. What do you personally remember me for? Is it for good or for bad? So look at the country where God has just indulged into your hands and look at the way you are enslaving and publishing them. It is not it's not fair. We are highly disappointed in this Mr. President. So I'm not very, very much happy with him. All right, sir, Mr. Charles. Thank you very much. That's all I have for you. Sorry, this is my number 070 Please kindly subscribe to this channel. Please me to serve you better. Thank you very much. All right, sir. So thank you, Mr. Charles. It's a pleasure having you again on our top venue. So please, if you are just joining our channel, of course, subscribe. Please um, also click the bell button to us get information and notification whenever we upload the people's view every day on top um, view news. As we all know, it is called top view news because um, the people's view must be heard. So thank you again. Um, thank you for today. See you tomorrow.